What's up everybody, Russell with Two Trail Hikers here. So we've been working on building the house, finally got it finished, and one of the things that we wanted to incorporate in the house was a multifunctional workstation that we could do editing from. It could double as an end table or a desk, uh, a place to do editing, pay bills, whatever the case may be to be able to work our computer system. So what we ended up with was this design. It took a little bit of research and a little bit of time, but we ended up with this whole concept that Beth and I put together. What we ended up doing was we started out with the doors. We've got our printer set up on the full swing doors. These are 270 degree hinges, so they'll swing all the way back flush against the back of the cabinet. The other side just houses a PC tower. Over here is the box that the cord feeds into from the surge protector that's mounted back behind the PC tower. So everything's self-contained. And I know what you're probably looking at right now is this great looking keyboard, right? So we've got the keyboard built, ball bearing slides, nice and smooth, houses the mouse, keyboard, everything nice and smooth in there. And yeah, everybody's looking at the monitor down there. It's hard to see, right? Well, that was kind of the incorporated thing that we wanted for this to be compact and closed down. So what we ended up doing was doing some research and came up with a devised system that allows us to hide the monitor and speaker system when it's not in use. 27 inch monitor, Bluetooth soundbar, everything's set up connected straight into the PC without any problems. So with everything housed in this compartment, it's set up on two ball bearing slides, 24 inch slides for drawers. Uh, really needed a ball bearing system to operate nice and smooth. We'll get you down and get you a close up on the actual mechanism down on the bottom. These are basically standard lift struts for like a lift gate on a car. Um, I don't remember a car manufacturer that we used because basically what I did is went onto the website that builds these, looked up the specs that I needed for length and lift, and then went to the O'Reilly Auto Parts locally and ordered them. What we did too is we added this little bungee cord onto the wiring harness that comes down. That way when it goes down, that pulls off to the side and it keeps it out of the mechanism completely. Cord runs across and over to the printer. Everything's self-contained. We love working at the workstation. All right, so guys, this is our whole system. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comment box below. Click like, subscribe, and we'll be looking at you again from the trail. This is Russell with Two Trail Hikers. Hike your own hike.